Hey, what's up guys? Another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Say in the driveway, we have this beautiful Troy Bill TB130 powered by the iconic Honda GCV160 engine with the auto choke system that is just not choking. Because it is not choking, this thing is a pain in the butt to start anywhere from four to six poles just to get this thing running i do not care to replicate that for you please take my word for it so this is going to be permanent we are going back to an a time when things were simpler and we were going back to el manuel which means you guys have to control the choke which honestly, I prefer it. Now, full transparency, I did try looking at this mower and I cannot figure out for the life of me why I can't get this choke to act like it should. Even a new wax ring, there is just something not driving in here and I don't have all the part numbers for this motor, so I'm missing a few things. But while I was taking this apart to look at it and do other repairs, I did notice something. So we're gonna crack open these two 10 millimeter bolts and then we're gonna cry in, in agony because Honda's too stupid to put studs in here. They want you to line up everything all in one piece. Why do the copycat Hondas are designed more efficiently, effectively, and more reliable than the Honda themselves? I am so glad Honda is no longer being made anymore here in the U.S. Good riddance. Pieces of junk. And rent. Anyway. Let's get these two 10 millimeter studs out. And now we're going to watch just everything fall. Because that's the way this crappy Honda has been designed. Now, you see this right here? See this opening? This is the choke. And I have bent this, I have manipulated it. I still can't get it to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a good old cable here. And we're just gonna stick this in. Just like that. Now we have a choke cable. And now this cable will control whether this stays open or closed. We don't need anything. We don't need any of this garbage anymore. So now you guys are going to watch me struggle to align everything all over again. This isn't gonna be a how-to on how to struggle with this. Not doing it. This is this is the choke cable we're worried about. Alright, so now this is kind of sorta of back together. Let's get this going. Now, this air box is slit, all ready to accept a cable. So there is no other modifications besides what we need to do with the handlebars, I think. But nothing a drill can suck.
So I'm starting this by hand because I don't want to strip anything. It's just a little bit of a pickle to get in. Get this nice and tight. Now the cable, right? See that? I already started to plan this out in my head. We could put the cable here. So you see in my mind, I, I, took, I had a spare lawnmower cable and I just put it in here just to make sure my theory was right. So what you do is, well what I did is we're going to get the existing washer, we're going to get an oversized washer. Actually, I like another oversized washer now. Let me dig through my pile. I want the washer to be bigger than the cable. All right, oversized washer. So you don't want to crush this cable because it still needs to pass through. So we'll do oversized washer, the OEM washer or a smaller one. So you want to have a little bit of a gap and then the big one again. Actually, forget that. Let's take out that middle one. Hey, hey. We are fabbing as we're filming. So let's open this out. Take our washers. Let's put some tension on the cable. And then we're going to take our 10 millimeter. Uh-oh. That didn't work out the way I wanted to. Maybe like an eyelid, like a rubber cushion clip. And then we'll set tension with the cable instead of traditionally setting the tension up top. And you know what screwed me up is that the cable that I tested on, I had the bare wire. And I'm thinking, to be honest with you, I'm stripping this so the bare wire is exposed. And then we have a place to bite in between. Let's leave that there. Let's go back to the top of the mower and we'll set that choke up. So here we are to the top of the mower. Can we put this here using the existing hole? Hang 
I'm just I'm, I'm fluctuating the lever see if you guys could see this as I'm moving the lever is it opening and closing all right so let's pop out the bail cable because this is where this goes so let's let's get a washer in there Okay, we'll, we'll make that snug. You don't want to tighten that up, that's plastic. All right, so we got our Suffolk County speed wrench on one side with the nut. And you could just feel that this is nice and tight. So now, as we move the lever, watch this flap with me. Open, closed, open, closed. So that's to start. And this baby is wide open. So now we just need to figure out this bail cable. I mean, heck, can we even drill another hole? further down or do we just get a clamp alrighty so here we have it tightened down now we have to worry about the stop cable we are going to drill another hole right here a little a little bit close to this one. I'm really not too concerned because we're talking about a cable here. Or worst case scenario is we can get like an oversized clamp and clamp this down. So when you pull on it, it doesn't pull forward. So now what I'm doing is, <clears throat> I have you focused on that hole here. I'm getting my drill bits out and I'm gonna match my drill bit to that hole. So, I think there's just no good camera view, right? There's a hole, we'll go right here. That's it. Now, I would paint this. We're not gonna do that on camera so it doesn't rust. You know, clean this up with the wire wheel so it doesn't burr. Let's take our cable, stick it in the hole like so, and then we'll bring it up to the, the bail cable. Okay, we're in. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put this nut, 
this bolt back in to hold this bracket. And then we're gonna test to see if this works. Now pay attention to that choke flap. It being closed is in the starting position. Now let's look further up. The lever, that is choke. Full choke applied all the way down. Now as we pull the lever back, it opens up into run. So let's start this thing. Alright guys, so choke applied. Let's fire it up. First pull. Let's lay off. Now we're at a choke. Now we're at full mowing speed. Now can we idle this down? No. So you know, to run it, full throttles all the way back. Now, to be full transparent, this bail cable is a little tight is a little tight so I wonder I don't know how much slack we could adjust but can we take it out of that cable which I doubt you know like you could twist those knobs to tighten it and lower it well, let's see yeah, see it won't start. Choke applied. Now let's see even with this open. Let's see. Like this position. I'll see it'll start. Yeah, wide open. And that's where you leave it. Yep. And she's a runner. Now for that, we could leave it like that, but I want to throw something else in there just because I'm extra. So this right here is a rubber cushion clip. The bolt's going to go through here and the cable's going to go through here. And that's where I am going to install it right there. Like I said, not necessary. The system functions fine as it should. I just need to have this cable held on by something just because. Take this off. Affiliate links to buy the cable and the cushion clips will be in the description now because I do things, you know, in bulk. The cushion clips, you know, is going to be in a bulk pack, but they're reasonable. I'm sure if you're handy and uh, you're going to fix other things around the house, they're going to come in handy. Or when you work on your car, I use these all the time when doing electrical work and, and routing hoses and stuff for a cleaner look. There we go. Nice and clean. Let's put our filter. Brand new.
And let's get rid of the stupid sticker. This auto choke sticker's gotta go. Stupid crappy design. Garbage. Alrighty, one last pull for the homies. And we'll wrap it up at that. All right, guys, that's a wrap. This is a permanent fix. Have no fear. Pat Taste Performance is here. We got you covered. Affiliate links to buy some of this stuff will be in the description. Don't forget, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. Later. Yep. Another one leaves the stable.